Hey guys, I Pokemon I here. Today I've got a box of Rise of the Duelist. It's been ages since I've opened up a core set. Yeah. Um, I've also got this OTS pack. Why the flip are these packs so big? Um, this is the first OTS pack I've got in uh, a while, a while, and I don't understand why they're so big. It just like putting this away was just. Tricky business. I don't even know how, how do I open this. Oops. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I got a box of Rise of the Jewelist. Um, bottomless floodgate and drone. All right, cool. Um, so let's just go for it. I'm not really bothered what I get to be honest. If I get a bad box, I get a bad box. If I get a good one, I get a good one. It'd be amazing to get the Starlight Rare. I've never, I haven't pulled one of those before. Um, anyway. The set is, as always, as with every other set so far in recent history, is sold out. You know, um, boxes, uh, wholesalers have run out of this product, and yeah, obviously, and because of that, stores can basically charge what they want, presuming if people are still buying them. Yeah, but let's go for it. So we've got Infernoble stuff, Yamanabi Party. So I think this is the first set where rares are no longer there. Or it could have been a Charity Code, actually. I, I can't really remember. I did open up a couple of those boxes. Um, I do like this. I do kind of like both this new type of um, sneak preview type things. Ancient Warriors Oath. But again, I also don't like it. Um, I very much enjoy the sneak peek aspect. I enjoy opening packs and playing with the cards you pull. Getting boxes on release is pretty solid as well. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. We've got Infinite My Oliver. And I do like that uh, there's no rares. I don't, I'm not particularly fond of the rare rarity. I just don't like it. <laughs> But yeah, lifeless leafish. Mm. the hand, we got Retime Reviver Emitter. So this is like the I guess Grab Bulb 2.0 or whatever you want to say. Babby. Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. Um, again, like, I really don't even know how much these secrets are worth. Um, I know <sighs> Triple Tacklet Talent. Oh my god, I can't talk with the flip. Anyway, that Triple ta uh, the Talent thing and the Forbidden Droplets is like money back on the box. Got Melfi Catty. DD Evil. Interesting. Speed Royal Block and Roll. Oh, that's funny. It's funny. I just looked at the picture. It's like a tambourine and a guitar or whatever. Mm -hmm. Block and Roll. Block and Roll, even. Rampaging Smash Tank Rhino Saber. That looks cool. Diced, diced. It's really odd. I mean, that Melfi Rabbi card, you know, was an ultra rare Legendary Jewelist season one. Um, it's just really funny that seeing those cards in a set like this, like a almost like a preview of what we're going to get. Well, it is a preview of the same with the the fury of Light Ascension or whatever. Raid Raptor Revolution Falcon Air Raid. Okey dokes. Melfi Mummy. Wind the Wind Channeler. That's uh, I guess a solid ultra rare. Lots of art types I guess in this set, isn't there? Oh yeah, this was ultra rare. 
sure this is the one. We've got Kokimeru, Koki, Kwakimeru supplier. I, yeah. Um, I think it's four ultras a box plus two secrets. Uh, yeah. yeah. Redeemable jar. Cool. I like these like random uh, goblin cards. Yeah. Lincoln Bell. That's a funny name. Two card that. Fluffle Dolphin, interesting. Dragon Maid Tidying. Yeah, this one was an ultra. I'm not sure if I'll be opening up any more boxes. I've got some in the way, but I don't know if I want to open them. Raid Raptor Arsenal Falcon. Another Linker Bell. I'm making a crazy mess. Right for a cruel whale, cool. The first Dark Lord. Right for repair DD. Thanks. Thunderhand. Infernoble arms and droids. Galloping Gaia, Soldier Gaia the Fierce Knight. Hopefully there is another secret in here. I don't want to be shorted a secret on the first core opening I've done in ages. That would be a bit rubbish. Uh, Magellanica, the Deep Sea City. This looks cool. D D a dog. It's like the dog from uh, Tom and Jerry. Now we're getting to the end now. Come on, man! I don't want one secret in a box. Allow me. Redeemable jar. Red potan. Right for cruel. We've got a guy. Okay, so this comes in super rare as well as the ultra. So cool. We've got guy of the fierce knight origin. Why is this like that? Okay. Melfi mummy. Shadow schism. Whoa! Is this like <laughs> the worst box maybe? Yeah. Let's see. So what is the middle card, isn't it? Okay, got Dogmatica, Flordilus, the Nightshade. All right, so, hey, at least uh, it was a regular box, so that's fine, that's nice. It's all fun and games, isn't it? Until you don't get the secret at the end. Um, I think it was like, an, I guess an average or below average, but I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what a good box is, do I? Um, yeah, thanks guys for watching, I Pokemon Eye here, and uh, there was my Rise of the box opening, so I got a regular, regular ratios with two secrets and four ultras. Uh, if you managed to get this set, good luck uh, with your opening, I hope you didn't pay through the roof for them, because they are um, they are currently at about 30 to 40 percent higher than what they should be, what the retail price is, the recommended retail price of this box is. So yeah, uh, good luck, and maybe I'll see you guys later with another box opening, we'll, we'll, we'll see. See ya.